for staying with us. In the Czech Republic, nuclear experts are dealing with a potentially deadly dilemma. They must ship and deactivate hundreds of kilos of enriched uranium, which is the fuel used to make atomic bombs. UNTV takes us inside a critically important operation designed to make the world a safer place. This is not a regular train. It carries a very sensitive cargo, highly enriched uranium, the stuff of which nuclear weapons are made. On a cold December night in 2007, an IAEA team is in the Czech Republic for a highly secret operation to ship 360 kilos of enriched uranium to Russia. Tight security measures are in place. The fuel in these casks was once used in the REG research facility to produce radioactive materials used in industry, research and for life-saving medical purposes. Now it's a burden. If it fell into the wrong hands, it could be the raw material for a nuclear weapon. To prevent this, the International Atomic Energy Agency, Russia and the United States joined hands to send highly enriched uranium fuel like this batch, which was once provided by the Soviet Union, back to Russia. There it will be reprocessed so that it can never be used to make a bomb. An IAEA inspector verifies that the cargo of 360 kilos of enriched uranium is indeed the material that has been under constant watch by the IAEA. The seal and the wire did not temper at all. It was sealed. It means uh, nuclear material still inside. We kept the continuity of knowledge. Radiation levels are checked. Everything is normal. Then the special casks are loaded into shipping containers. In order to receive a transportation license, these casks went through a tough series of drop, puncture, fire, submersion and pressure tests. After a whole night's work, the convoy hits the road to a train station near the Czech capital of Prague. It's a part of non-proliferation commitment, United States, Russian Federation and IEA, to remove this material. The fresh fuel, when we send it to Russia, will be down-blended to LEU fuel and this material will be reprocessed. The train has a 2,500 kilometer journey to make. Security personnel will be on board through Slovakia, Ukraine, until it reaches the Mayak facility in Russia. This is the 18th successful joint mission with the IAEA in the past four years. The total amount of highly enriched uranium returned to Russia? 590 kilos. That's enough for more than 20 nuclear bombs. And there are still dozens of similar missions to complete before men and women undertaking this global project can rest. With UN TV, this is Ihan Evrensel and Peter Pavlicek reporting for CNN World Report.